That is a big wasp. Check out this little beastie. That is a big wasp. Their venom is designed to paralyze their prey. So uh, some of the larger wasps, particularly the tarantula hawk. Oh, there he goes. First aid for the stings basically is an anti-inflammatory, like a neurofen. Uh, if it's a little bit more extreme than that, if you get stung on the arm and your face starts to swell up, you're gonna need some antihistamines. And then some people have severe shock uh, anaphylaxis, they need an EpiPen pretty much straight away, a shot right in the thigh. Uh, and that will basically neutralize the anaphylaxis. So just be careful, particularly if you're mowing lawns, going through palm fronded areas or particularly places in North Queensland as well where they have a lot of paper wasps, just watch out for those types of things. And use, um, use the clear safety glasses as well, because bees and wasps actually do go for your eyes as well, so pretty nasty. You're probably wondering why the wasp didn't sting me. Basically I whispered sweet nothings in its ear and said, come on mate, don't sting me, I'm not going to hurt you, and you can fly away mid-shoot, which is exactly what happened. You gotta watch where you're walking in this jungle, I tell you. Oh, oh, oh. Get down, get down, get down. Oh, jungle hornets. Not good, not good. Nest up here, you might see him flying in and out in the background. Underground jungle hornets, not very friendly at all. Not my favourite either. Oh, hardcore. What they do is they sting you, mark you with a pheromone, and then all their mates come out and attack you. And if you're anywhere near the nest, they'll keep attacking you. And they're hardcore. They're like 20 times worse than a bee. Species of wasp. Maybe we should see if we can get a bit closer and have a look, eh? As you can see, I've had a run in with these guys before. That's about seven days old. I took about three or four hits. They're hardcore. My whole wrist and my hand were swollen for about three days. Um, if you had an anaphylactic allergic reaction, you'd be dead pretty quick, pretty dangerous stuff. I might um, take my sunglasses today, a bit extra safety. And uh, you guys stay here because it could get wild. I think I'll take the camera. And if I start getting stung and I'm running towards you, run. I turned the camera off, there was one next to me, and I was like, it's gonna nail me. So I come running through here, flat out. Ah! I had to put the camera down, come to here, I'm running through here. He's I'm like, where is it, where is it? Where is it? And I looked at my shorts, and it was on my shorts going ee! And I, whoosh, I had to slap it off, and then it came straight back at me, and it was, it was angry. <laughs> And it just came straight at me and I just slapped it onto the ground, gave him a stomp. And unfortunately, it was him or me. Have a look at the size of that sucker. Whew. Scary, scary big hornet. Anyway, I was lucky not to get stung by that. 
at all, but I'm a marked man now. Where the hornet was here, it would have been stinging my pants, releasing a pheromone on my pants. So oh, I'll grab some dirt and I'll just rub that on there. Hopefully to disguise the smell because I'm marked. Now I gotta go back to get my backpack. Not playing the hornets anymore. That's it. Hey guys, just really wanted to say thanks a lot for tuning into my channel and staying with us on these wildlife adventures. If you like what you see, share it with your mates. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, keep it wild, and I'll catch you next time.